All right, what is up? And welcome back to Lumos. Before, before anything else, let, please let me know if the audio is good because last time it was super bad, and then we finally, finally have fixed that stupid echo that we have been getting for a while now. So uh, yeah, let me know if you can hear me. If you can see me properly, all right? Properly is the word. <laughs> what is up, everybody? Uh, how have you guys been? How has your week been? So uh, for me, it has been une uneventful. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's not much to do in Wizards Unite except for the brilliant event. Wait. The brilliant event is happening. I forgot about the real, the brilliant event. But yeah, um, we're good. Uh, we we've already done the 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 brilliant event. I finished it in less than a day. So I hope you guys are also done with it as well. Uh, I just need to fill up a bunch a bunch of rank up so I would get a bunch a bunch of more scrolls so that it would be all good so yeah that would be great right also I, I actually have a confession I'm so sorry I I've been cheating yes I've been cheating I've been playing another game yeah it's called Hollow Knight it's actually pretty good and uh, that is what I have been doing all week so <laughs> Hollow Knight and Wizards Unite is are are, are my uh, big priorities for this week. So yeah, are you guys done with your brilliant event? Uh, big shout out to the early people here. Uh, let me see, Stephanie Alverson. Big shout out because she was already here long before the live stream started. So yeah, big shout out. Hello to Adam Klein. Keith Kampa, Wonder Woman, and Z. What is up, everybody? Anyway, let's get to the main news, which is the Wizards Unite Fan Fest. So, yeah, it is it is looking to be great. They they have announced a bunch of details, but we'll get to that in a little bit because People are still coming in and uh, I don't want them to miss out on the discussion. So, yeah, let me just check my stuff right here. So, I've got... Po I'm still brewing a lot of potions. I'm still recovering from Community Day. I used every potion that I got. So, I'm still recuperating, still trying to get my potions back. I'm still not happy with it so I got 10 stimulo 10 healing and this used to be like 20 so yeah I'm still still looking for a bunch of potions uh, for profession I finally got everything that I wanted except for the the weakening hex and the this one so yeah I need to, those those two this two one and two these two are I need to complete those first and then I would actually get this one playing dirty so yeah I've been I'm gonna save up a bunch of restricted books for that oops sorry I something's wrong something's wrong with my cable okay. Uh, Dakota says, uh, finish the event yesterday and he or she, I don't really see. Oh, wait, it's a she. She, wish she wishes that Wizards Unite had gifts to send friends like in Pokemon Go. And I think that's coming. I think that's definitely coming. I just don't know why they haven't implemented yet because we are having a spell energy problem. So, yeah. Next up, Portkeys still got a bunch of 10Ks. Amazing that they changed everything. The brilliant, the brilliant Portkeys to just three kilometers. So 
that's amazing makes for a much better brilliant event how have you guys been enjoying it i've been enjoying it a lot because like i said three kilometer brilliant porties and you can get a bunch of scrolls from the foundables because there's a lot of foundables and their rank xp is capped at 40 which is just just great oh give me a second what is this one i can never master for any of the brilliant foundables all of them are hard especially defendo boom masterful nope <laughs> I got it that's great okay okay let me check my comments real quick here first I'm on your stream hello welcome wonder if they can add the feature to dispose unwanted port key etc if you pick up a five kilometer port key but you're looking for other distance instead i don't think that's going to happen because they don't do that in pokemon go they want people to walk and the only way you can delete to delete those unwanted port keys is to walk speaking of pokemon go there's actually something big that has happened in pokemon go that can impact Wizards Unite and let me show you that real quick uh, go to the settings right here you can see that I can now finally nominate Pokestops here in the Philippines which is great <laughs> it's very exciting and I already submitted a uh, a landmark earlier I tweeted it out so if you have it if you guys are not following following me yet on Twitter just just follow me there and you'll see the Pokestop that I nominated and this is important because Pokestops does become inns and fortresses in Wizards Unite so it's important and it's great that it has finally arrived in the Philippines anyway I think we have enough people watching so let me get in to let me go to the big news so give me a second here do, do, do. give me a second I want this to be as good <laughs> there we go All right, Wizards Unite Fan Fest. It is here. We have we have a bunch of details about it. It's it's looking to be pretty good. There are a bunch of uh, new details about it, uh, new photos, new details, and let me just get on with it. So, Wizards Unite Fan Fest. It would happen in Indianapolis. Indiana and it would start on August 30 to September 1 a lot of people are excited because they've already purchased a bunch of tickets booked hotels they're all raring to go all good to go but yeah uh, as you guys know I'm in the Philippines and I cannot go to the US yet so I am going to be missing this one it is so so sad as you guys can see on my slideshow there are a lot of new stuff that's happening a uh, some kind of some kind of uh, locations a bunch of themed lounges some of them are looking like uh, actual inns some of them are looking like actual greenhouses so it's going to be pretty special and it's very special because you can encounter a very very special oddity in in the in the uh, wizards unite fan fest and it is dragons dragons are finally coming to wizards unite as oddities so yeah it's going to happen let me just discuss a little some of 
the other stuff first. So yeah, note that tickets are still available if you are in the U.S. and you can travel to to Indiana. Just you should go. <laughs> this is a once in a lifetime event, so make sure that you participate. If I was in the U.S., wherever I am, I would definitely go because yeah, it's just inaccessible for me right now. But if it was, I would definitely, definitely go. Anyway, yeah, tickets are still available. $30 for general access and $40 for early access. Early access means that you would get an additional extra two hours because uh, it would the event would start at 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. for the general access people and it would start at 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. for the early access people. So yeah, I think the early access is a much better deal because it's just ten dollars you're already there and uh, you would spend more time in the area so that's great again if you haven't bought your ticket yet it's still available and you should get the forty dollar early access so again we have dragons coming in the the uh the wizards unite fan fest and uh, there are four main dragons there is the common welsh green the Antipodian Opal Eye, the Peruvian Viper Tooth, and the Chinese, the Chinese Fireball. Ooh. <laughs> if you if you know why that's funny, yeah, you're you're definitely a big Harry Potter fan. <laughs> Chinese Fireball. Ooh. <laughs> yeah uh let me just <laughs> stop right there so um so yeah uh let me just answer a quick break answer a bunch of questions here uh dakota is saying no you're not going do you think the fan fest will have special in-game things only available to the event yes you have a bunch of dragons and there are there's also going to be a bunch of special assignments for the Wizards Unite fan fest. So there's a lot of things that's going to happen. Uh, next up is Jed, of course. Obligatory shout out to my girlfriend. Um, <laughs> Stephen Lee Alverson passed a tip from Fortress Battle Spellcasting on Wizard Way. Chris, she was very happy and thankful for the tip. I gave all the props to you. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Adam Klein, I would go with my mom, but she has a hard time walking. She has to hang on to something. Yeah, that's definitely bad. But maybe, just maybe, they have some kind of wheelchairs in the area. Maybe, maybe try to contact Niantic because usually they accommodate people like, uh, like your mom. So hopefully, hopefully uh, people, uh, Niantic would accommodate people like that. Uh, there's also, uh, uh, after the dragons, they also said that after the Wizards Unite fan fest, these dragons will fly off to their regions around the world. So I don't have the information right here on what on which dragon on which region on which region would would get the specific dragon. So uh, maybe the Chinese fireball I think that's the Asian one because it's Chinese. That's definitely that's definitely a a, a, a possible thing. But for the others, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, it is a very exciting time. But I hope it's not going to be a big uh, FOMO, a big, a big issue for a lot of people. Because 
Yeah, I don't want a lot of people saying, ah, another regionals, why are we not getting this regional dragon? But it kind of makes sense, especially for the dragons, because they are they they are pretty, they should be rare enough, and uh, some this is something that you should be looking forward to when the event when the event ends so yeah uh next up uh, yeah special assignments they they did talk about special assignments in the wizards unite fan fest there there's something about a uh, a threat level clock and i think something is going to happen so let me just read this so the threat clock and fan festivals special assignments a series of special assignments will be available a <laughs> a series i don't know what if you guys saw that but uh, yeah i said a series of special assignments and siri got activated on my phone <laughs> so yeah a series of special assignments will be available at the fan festival attendees will need to keep eye on the threat clock throughout the day and be pre and be prepared to jump into action should the hands reach to a state of emergency though so there's probably some kind of threat level clock in the area and uh, attendees will need to keep an eye out on it because if the hand reaches to the emergency threat level uh it something big might happen maybe a bunch of super rare foundables would appear maybe dumbledore maybe a bunch of horned serpents for a lot of people yeah just emergency threat level foundables would probably appear or or maybe that's the time when the dragons will appear so make sure you keep a look out for that so yeah um yeah there's also a bunch of kiosks are in the uh, in the fan festival and uh th that's the the slideshow i'm showing to you right now so let me just go through this real quick so, yeah so yeah this is what we will get um like i said earlier common welsh green and antipodian opal eye uh, the Peruvian Viper Tooth and uh, the uh, Chinese Fireball. Ooh. Next up is this greenhouse. I think this is supposed to be some kind of greenhouse. There's a, a bunch of plants. You can see that there is the uh, actual uh, outline, the actual figure of the uh, um, the greenhouse. So that's amazing. These are rest houses. So if you want to just sit down and hang out with a bunch of wizards yeah i think i think you would get a bunch of gre uh, a bunch of people here a bunch of people and uh, i think there's going to be uh in game it's going to be tied with some in game stuff so there there's probably going to be a bunch of greenhouses in this area uh, there's also this this part right here it it's looking to be some kind of uh, some kind of inn some kind of inn yeah the, these are the houses uh no these are the chairs the table and this is in the middle this is where the uh the dishes are here are, this is what you usually see yeah it, it's looking pretty great a pretty accurate real world representation of in-game stuff it's pretty cool and it's it's breaking my heart that i'm not be i'm not i'm not I'm not going to be able to go so this looks like to be I don't know what this is <laughs> so uh, there's a bunch of uh, flying papers right here I think this is uh, some sort of uh, platform in nine nine three quarters foundable family maybe we get a bunch of family uh, nine, uh, Hogwarts school foundables here there's a bunch of uh, flying paper in the, in the side right here there's a uh, some kind of spin the wheel. I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe some kind of booth. Oh, there's a mic, so someone someone will be speaking. Yeah, it's it, it's looking to be pretty good. And 
yeah like i said earlier there's a bunch of uh there's like a they there's like a uh, flag here and and this is what it looks like for the whole thing it looks pretty pretty amazing i cannot wait holy fish uh yeah there's also another house right here i'm not sure what this is supposed to to be maybe some kind of common room because there are blue uh, yellow red and green chair so this might be some kind of common room oh my god I'm going to be mixing out on a lot fish and like I said this is another greenhouse uh, greenhouse thing where you can see the actual it even has the flag on top when you actually spin or visit the greenhouse so yeah let me just get slideshow this again do, 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 do. slideshow there we go all right so next up uh let me just get to the comments again right here uh shout out to to uh oh what was i sorry Oh yeah, shout out to Anthony Constant, or as you guys know him, Valky has been making uh, Wizards Unite videos since the beta launch, and uh, he has a bunch of pretty good insights. Especially he is, especially that he is a high level player. He is, and uh, he is a high level professor. Yeah, I think he has already soloed a dark chamber. Holy fish! Um, Next up is a big shout out to Civismente. I still do not know how to pronounce that. I'm just, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, yeah, big shout out to him. He has he he has been instrumental in getting a bunch of uh, stuff in the code about Wizards Unite. Also, uh, there's also uh, Voorhees8 right here, he says that I hope one day they do red book events. Uh, increased red book rewards would be great. That's a, that's very, very true because, yeah, red books are more rare than restricted section books. We need red books more <laughs> than restricted section books. I hope that they, they, uh, they mix it up for brilliant events maybe instead of getting a bunch of uh, restricted section books maybe we should also get instead of restricted section books we would get the red box so yeah um next thing about the wizards unite fan fest are yeah like i said earlier we, there's a bunch of kiosks a bunch of locations uh there are a bunch of Theme lounges and there's also going to be an inflatable Niffler in the area so if you are there make sure that you take a bunch of snapshots a bunch of videos maybe send them to me so that I can use them on my videos but yeah uh, there's also a bunch of partner perks and yeah exclusive uh, there's also like uh, exclusive offers and discounts from Niantic's partners like AT&T and Simon Malls. So uh, there's actually a bunch of perks. So like if you visit AT&T Experience, and you would get an a special in-game item. And if you visit Simon Booths, you would get like ten dollar gift cards and a chance to enter a ten thousand shopping spree sweepstakes. And also note that the gift card you would get, it would only be available in Indiana. So, no wait, in Indianapolis. So, make sure you use that Simon Mall gift card in when you're in Indianapolis. Because if you go to other states and use that gift card, you won't be able to use them. And... There's also this last thing that they said that if you are not able to operate 
to Indianapolis to for Harry Potter Wizards Unite Fan Fest Fan Festival. Stay tuned for more information on how you'll be able to participate in Action Pack weekend in your neighborhood. So do not worry. We are also going to get a bunch of stuff to do during the fan festival. So this is what they do in Pokemon Go where there's some kind of in-game event that's going to be happening around the world while the fan festival is happening. I hope they have some kind of surprise, something that we do not know about, some kind of big feature after or during the event because I really want something big to happen. I'm going to say it straight to you guys. The game, it's... It's, it's going down super quickly. A bunch of people are now losing interest. Yeah, and that, that includes me. I'm just going to go I just I'm just going back when I have something new to discuss or something new to find like the brilliant event and the Wizards Unite fan fest. But yeah, most people they've already they've already learned everything they need to know. They know everything they need to know. Uh, they we're just now waiting for new stuff to arrive and that's bad because yeah a lot of people they're just getting bored getting tired and a big a big feature or a big new stuff is it should happen because like I said people are dropping off quickly so yeah like I said been I'm just I'm just been playing the switch been playing hollow knight and uh yeah uh, i hope Niantic Na does something about it not just the dragons because that would that would wear off pretty quickly because once you complete the dragons yep you're done and then we'll just wait for the next one and this is just going to be a cycle so i hope they introduce something big like the uh the raid system or maybe the uh, flu network system that we've already discussed a while back but yeah I, <laughs> that is basically it uh, there's not much up for speculation and this is just what we've got for now so this is has been this has been our quick new segment <laughs> quick new live no wait this has been like a quick live stream for me I think we're gonna end it in like 30 in in just 30 minutes so no wait in the, after 30 minutes so it would end in three minutes sorry uh wipe says that regional doesn't make sense in wizards unite that's definitely true but it does make sense for dragons because yeah as you guys know in the harry potter universe the dragons are located in specific locations in the world so it does make sense for dragons but if you use that for other foundables now those now those doesn't make sense at all and it would turn off a lot more people so yeah that is basically it uh wizards unite fan fans is coming tickets are still available details are here the only thing that we do not know now uh, is the uh, in-game event that's going to be happening worldwide when the FanFest arrives. And yeah, that is basically it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this super quick live stream. I usually run it for like an hour, but I have stuff to do, stuff to shoot, and I do not want to get caught in the rain again. But yeah, that is it. Thank you for watching and I will see you on... Oh wait! <laughs> I forgot about that. Thank you, Jed, for... I was about to end it. So sorry. Uh, how about... <laughs> so yeah, uh, how about that impersonator account? So let me guys... Let me, guys, let me tell you guys something. It's super funny. Uh, the Vismen, they actually pointed this out to me. There is some kind of impersonator in YouTube right now. I don't know why he's doing this. So I don't know how I'm going to. Let me just find that. Let me just find that. Give me a second. So there's been 
some kind of impersonator in YouTube. Uh, he has been getting my videos and re-uploading them for some reason, even using my own titles and my own thumbnail. So it's really, really weird. So let me just find that right now. So yeah, its name its name is It's Me Jens. It's so weird. Let me just put it in the part right here. Yeah, just check that channel out. If you have the time, maybe maybe report this user because he has been using my my uh, my videos, my thumbnails, my titles. It's very very weird. I don't know why he's doing this. I mean, my videos is not that big enough for me to be to be for someone to be doing this. So yeah, check that out. Report this user because. It's not me. It's getting a bunch of views. It's funny. It's just funny and weird as all. But yeah, this is it. That's it. Uh, just check that link out. It's super funny. I, I pasted it in the uh, comment section right there. So yeah, that is it. Thank you for watching. And I will see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.